starting to shock my ears again, huh? Let's see if anybody's gonna get on here. I'm in Prudhoe. I forgot my hoodie. One like. So I forgot my hoodie somewhere. I think I left it at the shop. It was so warm and I get up here, it's 23 degrees. So thank goodness I have hoodies. Hi guys again. I have hoodies in my um, in my thing here. So whew, that saved my butt. So what's up, Steve? I will tell you what's up. So I went to Prudo. My clutch is out. That's why my truck's off. So I'm going to show you how I get it started there. But uh, hi, Eric. <laughs> um, so I went into, why is this shining weird? Probably because I've broke my phone so many times. It's probably a glitch. It's probably right on the camera. It is. It's one of my, it's shining like that because it's like cracked right there. So I was going to show you what I've got at the PBH and in my fridge. So I got, I'm getting low. So I just like packed the salad in here and I hate salad. And I um, have strawberries for like a parfait for the yogurt. And then I put in this yummy peanut butter stuff and then strawberries on it and it's so yummy. And then I brought my um, jelly and my peanut butter and my sandwich so I can always have sandwiches, but they're not always the healthiest. And I've got to eat this watermelon. It looks so delicious. So I know that I'm only not, I'm not gonna make it all the way back tonight because I can probably only go as far as Coldfoot, hoping I can get a little bit faster than it did coming up here. It took me two days to get up here. So at PBH, I have, oh, this is good. Or it's not PBH, sorry, it's the Aurora. I got, they were having dinner, so I grabbed some salmon and some rice. And I'm, I'm not hungry, but this is going to be for dinner later because all I have is that salad. I'll put it away here. And, there. and then out of the fridge, I grabbed, it says, Brown sugar pork rib, baby back pork rib. So it's probably like, probably not the healthiest for you because it's brown sugar. But man, if I get hungry, I got some ribs to gnaw on. And then I grabbed some cottage cheese. I know that's an acquired taste for some people, but it's a good filling snack. It's like protein and stuff. Oops, and of course I'm spilling the one thing I didn't want to spill. So I don't know what this is called, but it's soup. And it's got it smells so good. It's got like sausage and kale and like chicken. I wonder if it's hot. Oh my gosh, that's amazingly good. Whoa, that's good. So if I can manage to not spill it, then I got a little snacker snacker. So I gotta stick it somewhere I'm not gonna spill it. The problem with these cups is they're a little bit too big for the fridge. Oh, that's good. Thoughts on long wheelbase trucks? Um, yeah, uh, long, long base is fine. And then I had to give in and get some energy because I am so beyond bored on this trip. I can barely stand it. It's so bad. So I'm going to start here. And I got a Red Bull for now since I am freaking dragon and I don't like lots of liquids. And then, yeah, the soup is so good. <laughs> and then a couple five hours here. Keep me running. Let's see, make sure my five hour energy is down there. Nope, I need to add a five hour. Grab one, throw it in the backup. What happened in the clutch? I don't know yet. I gotta, I gotta take it back. Oh wait, no, I do have one in there. Oh no, I don't, okay. Um, it's either the clutch brake, which I want to say it is, cause that's good. If it is, it's not too bad, but it feels really, really, really different. So I don't know what it is. And then I got my fork and my spoon. Actually, I forgot I carry forks and spoons in here behind my microwave. We got little salt and pepper jackets. Put it in the bag here. Oof. So I got my popcorn, my plates, and bowls, and more popcorn, and spoons, and microwave. Hi! And then I got my cheating snacks up here. I got a chocolate muffin, popcorn, Cheetos. Yes, I'm bad, but I was bored. I'm good to go, you're right. And a new garbage bag, because I'm getting low. Got to refill my garbage bag supply. Yeah, I got the winter front off now. So, <clears throat> I could not stop by the dumpster because I don't want to stop and go as many times as humanly possible. Let's see here. Stick you up here for a minute. 
Do you like them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheetos are so bad, Adriana. But they're the poofy kinds and they like melt in your mouth. And I'm just build my own truck. Money is no issue. How much would you spend? Oh, it, Eric, it would be ridiculous if money was no issue. I would get um, probably a Kenworth W9. And I'd put like shelves in the back, all those goodies in the back to hold stuff because this truck doesn't have very many places to hold. I want the Gatling stacks and like the stick. I like the stick. If I could get Gatling stacks, I would, but I'm seriously considering getting another truck. Can you tell the snacks are getting to me? <laughs> uh, anyway, so. I better take this. No, this will go off. I'm like, that'll go off. So when I stop the truck, I put it in gear. So it's not, oh wow, look at that, in and out. Anyway, when I stop the truck, you put it in gear. Because see this, the clutch brake isn't working. It goes all the way to the floor like nothing. It's weird. So now that it's in gear, it still disengages, but it won't have a clutch brake. And then... Uh, I don't know if I like Detroit. Probably better than Cummins at this point. And then see if I can get it started. And then you got to stay on the clutch as long as I'm parked here because you can't let up. And that one's going. Would you like to change it? Yeah, sure, I'll change it. Oh, dinner. I lost all my air in that short of a time. Good grief. The... Um, the, the lift axle in the back is making all kinds of racket, but it's up, so yes, losing the clutch brake is annoying, so I just try to like park on a downhill when I've had to stop, but I keep forgetting and parking flat, and I'm like, crap, now I gotta turn it off again. Wait for my truck to air up here, my, my leg is gonna get sore. Water is yummy. More trash. Oh, my radio. All right. Come on, you. It's like I'm complaining. I'm in a better mood. Clutch adjusted check lately. Yes, Roger Rabbit Adventures. You have no idea how much the clutch of this thing is being messed with. I just had a new clutch put in it last year and I have so many countless clutch brakes I feel like there's something wrong. It's either driver error or something's wrong. All right now I can let off the clutch and go. It's about the best that I got right now. Look out the window I'm fat. Well all due respect I look pretty sounds better than all due respect your white as snowman. So thanks. All right. Can't go in here. Just pulling out of the Aurora. Thank you, Adriana. I don't know why, because I'm sweating. She's like, my skin looks good. Because <laughs> I'm sweating. Do you hear that? Then this fan belt kicks on and squeals. You should say instead of the coolest, I'm the coolant. Actually, it's kind of hot in here, to be honest. Let's see here. I had to drink that water so I could fit my Red Bull in here. Because I need some energy and some happy juice. Hit it with a hammer. LVC, I agree with you. <laughs> Everything you hit with a hammer sometimes works. And I found, I found that cussing and swearing at things really help too. Like, whenever I can't get... Whenever I can't get something, if you swear extra loud at it, for some reason you like get extra strength and then things like fall into place. So, it's like intimidation or something. Hi, Dirty Knobs. I love seeing familiar faces in here. That's so cool. The road is crap. It's total crap. So the whole road, I went about 20 miles an hour, except for right at the bottom of the beaver sled, all the way to the bottom of connection, or the knob. And then this last 52 miles. It's pavement, but they patrol it extra hard and make sure you're going the 50 miles an hour, which sucks because this is the only chance this entire trip I have to go faster than 20 miles an hour. 
I think they should give us a pass. Be like, yes, you can go to the floor to engage a break unless you are stopped. Yeah, I know. I know that, Roger. See, that's the thing is I know that and I'm doing that and I never had this problem before I've had this truck. It just like keeps freaking going out and I'm like, I don't feel like I'm doing that. <laughs> like the few times I've caught myself doing it, like the clutch didn't go out, I'm like, whoops, almost messed that up. But every other time, like it just goes out. And I'm like, he's like, you cannot move while you're pushing it in. I'm like, I know. I'm not trying to. I'm trying, I try not to even push the truck brake in until I've got it going. Until I got it in gear. And then push the truck brake in, so. And I never use the clutch to disengage and come to a stop unless it's like stuck. But that's a quick stab and not to the floor. So I don't know if there's something more wrong with this. I know that Caleb thinks it's error, driver error, but I have never had this issue before. It's somebody else actually, oh, you guys were on that live. That other guy said he hasn't had that problem. This one guy was like, whoa, there's an airplane landing right in front of us. I don't know if you can see it. What? Hang on, kid, grab. What in the heck? Jeez, way to wrap the headphones around the steering wheel. Sorry, guys. Safety first. <laughs> anyway. The air, the air, I'm going around the end of the airport right now, so literally, like, the plane is landing over my head here. Looks like some crappy weather to be landing in. Let's see if I can see him land. Where is he? thought he was right above me. There he is. Can you guys see him? Ah, oh, that's so cool. There's the airplane landing right in front of me. <laughs> that's awesome. I've never had that before. Oh, yeah, no kidding. The Alaska Triangle, I agree. Yeah, it's super cool. My airplane just landed on me. This looks like some really bad weather to be landing in. It's freaking snowing and 25 degrees up here. Like, does it not know it's almost the end of May? It's snowing. So I'm excited, guys, because my, my one girl, Alaska, gets on a training right here at the end of May. And then seven's supposed to be done June 1st. And I'll promise you she's staying longer. <laughs> yes, plug-in headset steering wheel, yep. If I do the, the wireless ones, though, you guys say you can't hear me that well, so it's like an echo or something. So these are the best way to go, unless I use those mics, but those are like in a bag somewhere in Fairbanks. I don't even know. Oi! Oi, Lisa! Sounds British. What's my backup truck? I don't have a backup truck. This is my truck. It don't run, I don't run. You know what I'm gonna try to do is see if they'll let me drive a company truck. I break this one out here too much. I'll be like, you guys got a spare I can drive for the summer or at least until the road gets not so crappy. Cause I need to make some money and this thing's going back to the shop already. I haven't even made, I'm halfway through the first trip after getting it out of three weeks in the shop and it's gotta go back in. So I'm sure you understand my frustration, but at least I'm like in a better mood right now. I know, I just got it back. Going right back in. You know, every time I think I've got, gone down to Wasilla, it's been, it's been trucks in the shop. Now, I either go there because the truck's in the shop, or every time I go there, I drop it off before I leave. So, and I'm not, I'm not really thinking that horses, uh, breeding horses is going to pay off. I, I would give lessons, but I'm terrible with people. I'd be like, why can't you ride right? I'd be a terrible teacher. But I would, I don't think I would mind leasing horses out because I have about a gazillion horses that need to be rode. So it's like, if you want to lease this horse out, it'd be fun to like do guided rides and stuff too. But like, I'd be pretty selective with who rode them because I don't want to ruin them, just getting them trained. So preferably somebody, I'd be an awful student. Well, I'd be an awful teacher. I bet that a lot of nothing would be getting done. <laughs> oh, geez. I cannot believe how crappy this weather is. So I'm actually going to run out of service, not yet, but like at the same, same like time span that I usually run out because I can actually go the speed limit here. You know what's weird? I don't think you guys can see it, but there's like this mist coming off the road. It's so subtle. 
And it looks like the road is like generating the mist. It's kind of cool looking. I just watched the movie The Mist. I think I fell asleep though. I don't remember whatever happened. 65 in Fairbanks, Brittany. Oh, you must have got your phone working, Brittany. Congratulations. <laughs> got your notifications coming through now. I'm like, you know who I haven't heard of in a long time? It's Brittany. She never calls me. She never writes home. She never hangs out with me. Yeah, this is easy street. This is the only easy street I get this whole ride. If I don't get pulled over. I think they should give us like a pass here for going fast, trying to get some. It took me, let's see, I only got seven hours of driving left and I'd say I could make Coldfoot by that, but if I counted, it took me 10 hours to get to Coldfoot. What is in the middle of the road right here? What is Michael, 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 Michael? That is snow. Oops, I forgot about this. Summer, winter, this ain't too bad, but a little puppy in the summer. Yeah, it's a long time to get to frickin' cold foot in 10 hours. Sleep 10 hours. And it took me 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 8 hours to get from cold foot to Prudo. So yeah, it's really ridiculous and I'm bored out of my mind. Yes, we have a Kenworth dealership. Hi, Alberta. Sing the Portuguese? I remember that. I don't remember what I said. Nossa, nossa, assim, something. I don't remember. Bolsa me mata, delicio. I can't remember if I'm even saying it right. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm coming back to Fairbanks, well, I'd say today, but the answer is going to be like the end of this trip, which is probably going to be tomorrow. Then I'm going to run home because I'm going to do something awesome. And I'm going to go bang bang with horses shoot guns off of them and do mounted shooting training and see if I can't get bucked off. That ultimately I'd love to um, shoot off horses so in case I get attacked by a bear when I shoot the bear the horses don't ditch me and leave me for bait while they get away. So I'm like I never really take a gun riding because the first time I shoot it I'm bear bait so it ain't gonna do any good protecting any of us. I think the best thing I can do is try to stay on. High school rodeo, huh? I'm meeting somebody here. Two somebodies. Yeah, it'll be fun. I passed these guys yesterday. They're doing laps around me. They're on their second trip. I'm still on my first. Um, I've been to Canada. Would I come to Canada? I got. Why are they so muddy? Why are you, Miss Lisa? Why are you guys so muddy? Oh boy, do you got a treat coming to you? Oh brother, I thought this road was a treat. Uh, you find me again. Dang it! Well, maybe I'll go home then. <laughs> we'll talk to you anyway. Yeah, you have a good trip. We'll see you next time. All right. If you hurry, you'll catch dinner. <laughs> yeah, it'll look like spring us. We'll see if my horses will let me go bang bang off of them. Sounds like a fun sport, too. Plus, I like the archery stuff, too. So I'm going to have, like, pistols and bows and just, I'm going to be a weapon on horseback. Since my fat ass can't outrun a bear. I hope my horse can. I know my horse is like. I know how to keep the bears from attacking us. Oh, that, yeah, there was that local serial killer. There? Are you talking about here? Because there was that, um, it's called on frozen ground, I think, or something like that. Uh, I can't remember if that's the right, the right one. murder people at Jim Creek and if you guys are on any of my lives while I've been riding my horse this year, that was a Jim Creek right where he murdered all those girls. I think he did it on the other side though. Like it's funny because I think Don Cusack played the murderer and I know where he was <laughs> in the movie. They filmed up here. I know where he was. He was on the other side of Jim Creek the other way in. <laughs> That's funny. 
Man, that little soup thing I had to put in my mouth, now I'm thirsty. Now I'm hungry for it. That tasted so good. Yeah, super scary stuff for sure. Hey guys, got a question for you before I run out of service. If I get a new truck, what color should I bake it? Just in case y'all wondered. I don't know what scabby means. So I couldn't answer. Never rode a buckskin. It's been a while since I've been on a horse. But what we need is all the people that love horses come up and we'll have a horseback party. I only got like four or five of them, so only four or five people can come. I want to do a camping trip with Adriana and Christian, but they got to fly up here and then I got to get gunmetal blue. I didn't know they had a gunmetal blue. I'll have to check it out. I like gray a lot. Everybody's white up here. That's the problem. Oh, Scrappy. You kept saying Scappy. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Scrappy, no. I've never been in a fight. Just yelling fights. Barbecue. Heck yeah. Marilyn. I would love to do a hunting trip, but really, I could care less if I kill something. What I want to do is be, stay in camp and take care of the horses and highline them and feed them and... I'll even cook breakfast and lunches for the guys, but I do uh, maybe someday want to go hunting. I don't know, but I just mostly want to do like they can handle the blood and guts. And no, I'm not getting a pink truck. Are you insane? No, the only thing pink around me is my horse. Maybe that's her color. No, not pink, you guys. Ugh. I am not out here to proclaim. Hey, everybody, look at me. Watch me screw up. I'm the girl. Ah, uh, dust brown and it doesn't look dirty. That's such a good idea. Camel. I love black and white and gray and lime green. Uh, I had this idea to do like a black and white, but like kitty corner it. So put it on one side of the hood and go up and over the cab and then make the inside like that too. <laughs> I don't know. Purple's nice. There's already two really, three really cool purple trucks up here, though. Black. What about flat black here? Probably just be a mess. Paint it like a horse. So black and white paint. <laughs> the, everyone who passed me would be going, moo! Orange is a color and not as a fruit, Jacob. Optimus Prime, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. I'm going to transform into a real trucker someday. I, you know, as far as white goes, what I thought about doing for like a pickup truck maybe someday was like the like the pearl white or whatever, kind of like not white white, but kind of this cool white. But I like black too much to go white. Maybe if it was a truck, but it would have to be like a, like not a straight white, you know. <laughs> Love you too, Adrian. <laughs> yes, LVC, a wrap. I have been actually flat black with gold leaf stripes. Ooh, ooh, that's a cool idea. My old man just went up and packed, picked, packed, picked a bunch last week. The shamrock green. The problem with shamrock green is I already got two of my coworkers are Irish red hair and they paint all their trucks green like green and like clover leaves and irish like that's that they do with their trucks so that's a thing i don't know what fluoro orange is with the uh, safest black and white find the mother load tomorrow flaming blue and flaming red felt like glittery can they make like a glittery black <laughs> So blind everybody in the sunshine. That'd be fun. <laughs> they do my paint jobs, huh? 
a low rider no what color what you're part irish no you think a name like kelly i'd be irish too but i'm not oh really that'd be kind of cool they did black sparklies have to go camping. I know, GW, this, it's not always white though. Look over there, it's blue. Where there's water over there. That's where the birds are. All the birds are coming. I bet snowing they get up here and they're like, what the crap is this? We just came to Florida. It's cold up here. Geese are all trying to settle in. I don't see any geese right now, but they're, they're usually lining this whole area. I think they're still working their way up. You know, but it'll be it'll be spring and summer where you're at. It just turned winter up here. It didn't turn winter till uh, like north of the pass. Yellowstone camping, man. I've already been camping twice this year, and I've used two or three times this year. Two times. I've been wanting to camp, and then every time I go, I'm like, why do I drag myself out there? Sleep a 